Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the NHL 12S-77 versus the APX120 from Thermalright and the SI100 from Thermalright. I've got benchmarks. We're going to see what the actual difference is between each cooler and have a chat. Okay, so this is the noise test for the NHL 12S X77 low profile CPU cooler from Noctua. This is a 50% fan speed. Very notable. 100% fan speed. Now yes, you can hear it, but it's not really bad. This is the SI100 CPU cooler from Thermorite. This is a 50% fan speed. Can barely hear it. This is at 100% fan speed. As you can hear, you can definitely hear it now. This is the AXP120-X67 white ARGB low profile CPU cooler from Thermalright at 50% fan speed. As you can hear, it's very quiet. 
This is 100% front speed. And as you can hear, it sounds like a jet engine. Right, so when it comes to the overall thermals, now this is the Noctua thermals. This is with the fan facing down. The Cinebench R23 idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 90. Blender Classroom, the idles with 34 with a max of 90. Blender BMW, the idles with 34 with a max of 90 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 95. And at that particular moment in time, the 5900X with PBO enabled was drawing 190 watts. Right, so we move on to the SI100 from Thermalrite. Now, the Cinebench R23 idles were 34 Celsius, but the max is with a 91. Blender Classroom, the idles were 34 with a max of 89. Blender BMW, the idles were 34 with a max of 89 again. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 34 Celsius with a max of 79 Celsius. And it was drawn 190 watts at that testing time. Right, so for the AXP 120-X7 at uh, 6.7 white ARGB CPU cooler, for Cinebench R23, the idles were 36 Celsius with a max of 90. Blender Classroom, the idles were 36 with a max of 90. The Blender BMW, the idles were 36 Celsius with a max of 90. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 30. 6 Celsius with a max of 80 and it, the CPU was drawn 190 watts at that time as well with PBO enabled so yeah right then so look you saw the uh, differences you saw the thermals now what I would say is of course Noctua's uh, cooler is a lot better in terms of quality the overall the overall dimensions of course the overall look and of course it can have two orientations with the fan facing down or facing up through the bottom whereas the thermal right ones can't do that because of the difference in size now of course these two are very similar but as you can see this one is a lot taller so yeah and then of course then there's this one by here which is more like this one in nature as you can see but it's a beefy version of it and this one can only fit a 120 on top so overall they both are within the margin of error as in for testing so basically if which one you're looking at particularly it's pers personal preference the differences between each one aren't a lot r really different um i would say that of course the thermorite coolers are a lot louder so if you're someone who wants uh, prefers noise over that then of course Noctua are definitely going to be the better choice now when it comes to the overall price of course Noctua's is more expensive it's actually double the price of these two particular coolers I've got here the APN uh, the APX 120 is usually around the 15 pound mark and the SI 100 is usually around the 15 to 20 pound mark whereas the thermal right one is at least i believe it's 45 to 50 pound so for a small form factor air cooler that one of course is definitely more expensive but of course you're paying for the brand and you're obviously paying for the quality that noctua does give you now when it turns to the performance of course the 5900x with pbo enabled in th all three tests the cpu did not thermal throttle whatsoever so that's also a plus whether that would last long time i didn't test for that my tests are usually 10 minutes so for a longer period of time your cpu you could see thermal throttle but with 10 minutes to let the uh coolers equalize they didn't thermal throttle i didn't see no power, power drop droppage the clock speeds were the same so it's really personal preference for you guys it all depends on what you're looking for of course if you're looking for rgb then of course this one the ap axp 120 is probably going to be the better one for you but if you're looking for something that just looks nice but it's 
just standard design than this one, the SI100. Or if you're looking for the premium version, then of course it is the NH L12X. Of course, this is going to have the better compatibility when it comes to the overall mounted but then again thermal right are also good in that department as well in terms of compatibility with sockets they do go all the way down to lj775 so that's gonna be the end of the video now guys i hope i give you enough information to make a good decision which one you want to go for and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend please don't forget to subscribe because the stuff from Kuma Master has been confirmed. And I am getting stuff from uh, As Aska. As well as Thermal Grizzly, Thermal Right. So I'm getting a lot of more project uh, products in to get more content out for you guys. I've got stuff coming from AOC. So make sure you subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. This is Richard for Welshy Tech. Good. Bye.